Jai Shu. Uh, I am standing here representing the fifth group, uh, and uh, we were six in uh, number, and uh, we, we, have, we were three sisters and three brothers. And the visions uh, we had were different, and when, whenever we, we got stuck with the interpretation, it was Brother Nirmal who uh, came up with uh, the interpretation, inspiration from the Holy Spirit. And we thank, for, thank you, uh, Brother, for that. And uh, the first person was uh, myself, and uh, the visions we got were uh, like, uh, I am standing with a cassock and I am undergoing a problem, and the, at the end, I am standing with the vestments. And the, uh, the other visions were tree, forest, fire, etc. And we interpreted as it uh, as if uh, the problems I am undergoing, and at the end, the fulfillment I will get uh, as a priest. And the second person was a sister. And the visions we saw were uh, Mother Teresa and, it, uh, and the children. And uh, uh, two people saw uh, bright light. And the third, wa third was head, uh, the vision of her uh, with a cord tied on the head. Uh, and the interpretations we gave were Mother Teresa and the children, uh, when we asked her, she told that she is a person who likes to serve others. And uh, the uh, two bright light, we couldn't get an interpretation. And the third one was uh, when we shared the when the person shared the vision of uh, here, she standing with a cord tied on the head. She told that, that she has she has a, a headache that frequently disturbs her. And the the next one was a, a clear uh, vis uh, vision, which was about uh, uh, her. Her call to the uh, her call to the uh, religious life, which was uh, she she saw her coming out of a company, and when she shared this vision, the uh, the person whom we uh, on whom we were praying told that uh, she is she was uh, working uh, in a company, and afterwards afterwards she uh, left the job and he, she came to join the religious congregation. And the third one uh, was, assist, uh, was also a sister. And the visions we saw were a uh, bird and a plane, and the crucifix, Jesus, tree, and birds. And the third was uh, the compound world. And the interpretations uh, we got were the bird and the plane uh, we interpreted as the freedom that she wants to have in her life. But the compound world is the restriction that she feels uh, during the uh, during the formation and the crucifixion Jesus tree and the birds uh, we, we interpreted as the suffering that she undergoes and the relief that she would get at the end and there was uh, one of the members also felt thirsty when she uh, when he prayed uh, on her but we did not get the interpretation of the same the, uh, the fourth was a brother and the uh, visions we got were a rocky ground and a building on it and the scene of Jesus calling the disciples uh, which we see in the Ma uh, Mark, the Gospel of Mark chapter 3 and the Good Shepherd and Jesus and children and the word saying I am with you and the interpretations we gave, we gave were the strength and the, uh, the uh, strength that she has that he has in his vocation the, uh, the basic of his the base of his vocation is strong as uh, we felt and the uh, good shepherd the vision of good shepherd we interpret as the nature she, uh, he has he has a nature of uh, serving others and the uh, people who comes around him also feels the same um, and uh, one of us saw a statue of saint joseph and when we shared about it he told that uh, his Parish Church is dedicated to St. Joseph. And the, in, uh, one of the visions about him was not interpreted. That was uh, him walking alone uh, on a road surrounded with trees. And we couldn't get the interpretation of the same. And the next one was also a brother. And uh, when we prayed on him, we saw a statue of Mother Mary. Uh, two of them saw the statue of Mother Mary. And one of them saw uh, Mother Mary, uh, Lourdes, Lourdes, Lourdes Mary, and uh, when we uh, when we asked about it, he told 
that he is a devotee of Mother Mary and he, he always prays the rosary whenever he feels a kind of disturbance. And uh, the next vision was uh, two, kinds of, uh, um, two kinds of fields uh, which uh, one, one would end up uh, with, a, with a wall uh, built on sticks and the coming uh, is a field. And the, when, we just, the, when we just shared the vision, he told about his vocation. He, he is of a good age and he, uh, he, once he joined the seminary, but uh, he left and afterwards he again joined. He, all, he, he shared all these uh, stories uh, with us. And the third was also a sister and uh, we saw the visions we saw were a lighter tree and a dried tree and uh, children sitting around the tree and uh, someone teaching. And the interpretation we gave where the, tri the, the, the dried tree represent the, uh, uh, the dried tree will be uh, rejuvenated or uh, uh, flourished with the teachings that she would give to the children and she also uh, shared that she likes the field of uh, teaching and the lighter tree would represent the fulfillment of uh, her vocation. So these are the insights we got uh, in our discussion. Thank you.